everyone welcome back to our youtube channel so this is the sql interview question playlist and today we are going to uh, see another sql interview question and this question was asked in the company edeco so let's begin with the question you have a table called sales that contains information about sales transactions okay the table has the following columns sale id product id sale date quantity and unit price write an sql query to find the top selling product for each month of the year along with the total quantity sold for that product in each month let's see the sample input so this is a sales table you have sale id product id sale date quantity and unit price unit price means the individual price for each product and you have the sample output you can see for each month you have the highest selling product for each month and the total quantity that has been sold for this product like for january the highest selling product was 101 and the total quantity that was sold is 50 so you see uh, this these two are the data for the month of january you have 101 102 so but quantity 50 is more than 30 so that that means that it was a higher higher selling product 101 is a higher selling product likewise you have to do it for all the other months now let's uh, write the query for this i'm doing it in the mysql workbench and the script for uh, creating just yeah the script for creating the table uh, is given to you in the description box the link is given you can use it or you can create your own table as well so i'm just using my database i'll show you the table i've created the table from sales okay so you see this is the uh, sample input table you can use the uh, script given in the description box to create the table and also to add the values. Okay, so now first, what are the output that we want? We want the month, the product ID and the quantity, correct? So first, let's select the month. So for extracting the month from this sale date, we have a function that is called month name. And you just don't want the month as 1, 2, 3. You want the month name like January, February, March, April. So for that, we are using a function called as month name. What it will do, it will extract uh, the month name from a given date as month. Alias name I'm giving as month. Then you have the product ID. Okay. And the max quantity because you want the max quantity correct product ID uh, just a second as quantity this is the alias name that I'm giving to the column from sales which is the table name and we are going to simply use group by on the month name why because we want the value for each month okay so we're going to apply the group uh, by on the month now let's run this yes so you see we have got the output for each month the higher selling product and the quantity as well okay so the query is very simple but the main task is to understand that how you will extract the month name from the date so for that you have to uh, be thorough with all the functions of the date time module from that uh, from using that you will understand how you can process various date time values okay so the month name function is what we have used over here you can refer the internet for understanding more about it so month name uh, extracts the name of the month then we have extracted product id and maximum quantity Okay, maximum quantity for each uh, group of quantities like we have 50 and 30 for month of January so 50 is maximum so we have extracted 50 we have applied the group by on the sale date so uh, sorry on the monthly or from the sale date 
so this was a very simple query i hope you understood it if you have any doubt you, you can ask it in the comment section and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends as well thank you for watching we'll be meeting in the next one